Hey, this is Bass Clef, and you might know me from this. And you might also know that over the years I've made a few popular plugins like the Easy Washout, the Easy Chords, and today I've got a brand new one to give you guys and it's 100% free. So let's check it out. All right, here we are. Let's take a look at Bass Clef's Kick Thief. This plugin will let you extract a kick drum out of almost any song, simply and easily. Uh, I'll give you a quick example of it. Here's a track playing. And let's turn on the Kick Thief. Pretty cool, huh? So like I said, I'm giving this away free, so make sure to watch to the end of the video where I'll tell you how to get your free copy. Before I get into the demonstration of how it all works, I just want to say a big thanks to my good buddy Ian Jones for giving me the inspiration for this plugin. He designed the original one and I just kind of helped him fine tune it and this is the final result. Um, so big thanks Jonesy. Um, okay, let's let's show you how this all works. So, so it works really well on just drum loops like this. But it will even do on full music songs where there's, you know, bass lines and chords too. Uh, so here's another example. Here's one with drums. Let me turn it on. Let's try this one over here. This one's full music. Pretty cool, huh? More music. And this one over here. One more music one for you so you're getting a good example. So it's pulling out um, the attack of the kick, um, getting rid of all the music and stuff after it, keeping the sub of the kick intact. So it makes it super easy to get basically steal a kick out of almost any song. Um, the one thing you do have to do though is make sure your song is going to be tempo synced. So make sure it's warped to fit your tempo. See how the attacks of all my kicks are like right on the beat. It works with tempo syncing so it has to be exactly on the beat to make this work. Okay, let's go through and show you the controls and what they do and explain it all for you. So I'd say the best way to use this when you first turn it on is Start with the, all the length and transient shaper ones on full on 100. Start with the high detection over here on full and start lowering it down till you get here the click. This is gonna help you find the click of the kick drum. Up here there's not so much. It's not detecting it properly, but if you lower it down, you'll get more of the kick. If you keep going, you're probably gonna start picking up on the hi-hats and other things. It might be too much, so you just back it off a little bit. I'll show you. See those hats? So around there's probably going to be good. Then decide how long you want to make it with the high length. Transient shaper is sort of like fine tune for the high length. It's going to like adjust the shape of the transient there. So this is a little bit longer and this will be a little bit shorter. So you can really fine tune that in. Uh, this knob over here, add punch, this is kind of mixing in some parallel New York style compression. So without it, it sounds like this. We mix it in. Helps it give you that, more of that smack, you know, because it's, we're kind of tearing a track apart and putting it back together again. So this just kind of helps glue it together and give you some thump and impact. Um, yeah, and it gives it a bit more dynamic too because these are mastered tracks and, and you want to still have some punch in your kit because you're probably going to put a limiter on this later, right? Uh, okay, bottom row. Bottom row is all about the low end. Top row, top end, bottom row, low end. Frequency split is the crossover. So this is telling you that everything under 70 hertz is going to be on this bottom row and everything above 70 hertz is dealt with up here. Um, 70 is a pretty good one. From testing this out, works pretty well at about 70, but if you need to adjust it, try moving it around. I'll give you an example of what it sounds like. Makes a bigger difference on tonal tracks, like say like this. Sometimes handy when you're trying to um, really fine tune it, so I left that in there for you low length um, is going to kind of, it's going to change the length but it doesn't just shorten it, it sort of chops out the second half, it sort of pulls out this piece 
it'll leave this bit alone and it will just start turning down the volume of the second half because often there might be a bass note there or a tom or something and it helps you get rid of that. I'll, I should give you an example. We'll do it again on, let's do it on a tonal track. Here it's, it's kind of taking away that piece. It's chopping that out there and there. Okay, now this shape of one is similar, but rather than chopping out that piece, it's going to be kind of like it's drawing in automation onto it, like this. It's going to put like triangles onto it. So that way it'll fade out the end of it, uh, but keep the punch intact. So between those two, you can kind of really shape your low end, how, you, how long you want it to be, and if you want it to taper off or you want it to be full <clears throat> uh, saturation or sustain, I suppose. Let's try it out. So we'll take out some length here. And we'll try the shaper with the triangle. Cool. And the last one is to add thump. Um, if you need to add a little bit of extra thump to your kick, and sometimes because this process is a bit aggressive, you kind of need to add a bit of thump back in again. Um, this is kind of adding a bit of 100 hertz to give it a bit of impact down there. Uh, I'll, I'll wind some in so you can hear the difference. A little bit can be good, like one or two dB can be really handy. Yeah, you can adjust that to how you want. You try it here as well. But there you go, that's the Kick Thief, super easy to use. Now you can go out and extract any kick drum you want from pretty much any song. Obviously, I can't endorse you taking anything from people's songs, but I'm just gonna make this plugin and you guys can do what you want with it. Okay, so if you like the Kick Thief and you'd like to get a free copy of it, Please do me a favor and click like on this video to show me how much you like this plugin and the fact I'm giving it away for free. And then underneath there's a link under the video, you can click that and go and get yourself a free copy of Bass Clef's Kick Thief.